Let's do this. All right, let's do this. Oh, oh, uh, I want to sit with Coach. You want to sit with Coach? Boy, do I ever. All right. You don't want to go to the shop? No. Fuck that. Oh, but that's where you need to get your stuff. You guys know stuff. Um, stop knowing stuff. Okay, wait. Am I, can I meta this a little bit? I mean, you can. What are you trying to do? Because I know that sitting with a character who's not in the main cast gives you a huge stat boost. Sure. Wow. All right. and, but yeah, your main objective right now is that one thing. Maybe you don't have money. I have no clue. It costs zero. Here, set fine. Send me the shop. Are you sure? Yes. A thousand percent sure. Are you sure you don't want to go back to this guy? You're killing me. You're killing that's, me, that's Jesse. That's what I'm trying to do. Yes. Okay. Um. Send me to the shop. Okay. All right, who's, who's shopkeeper? Welcome to my little shop. Buy some shit. I have shit that will boost your stats, shit that will lead you into stupid new adventures, even some shit that might be much needed at some very specific moments. So, take a look. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. You're too poor for the erotic novel, but we've seen that before. Yeah. Can you get any? None of these things are what you need for the ritual. Oh. Though. So they are not. You need a, Hype the station. Ear of, earring of a goddess? Wait. Okay. What, hang what on. do you need? Can I see my Can I see my stats? Okay. Uh, I'm full. They're up the top. Um, give me. Go over to the tattoo. Mm -hmm. For a moment, please. And thank you. Uh. Did you see someone actually got this as a real tattoo on their real body? Are you serious? I'm not even joking. That's incredible. It's the coolest. Okay. Um. Five or older. <laughs> buy me, buy me the fake badass tattoo. You want this? No. What? Yes. Buy what? it for me. Yes. Buy it for me. Okay. Buying. Buying. Buy it. There we go. You're bold. Bye, than... stranger. You're he's bold he's than messing Dick. with you. He's yeah, he's purposefully oh, destroying you. Why? Okay. Where to? Deke might not be the boldest, but he's still bold as hell. Are you going? He's gonna sit with Tony the Tiger because I guess you get stat boost. But also, if I went and sat with her, that's not bold. That's obvious. You're right. You're so right. You're yeah. so right. Mm -hmm. Bold. Hit it. You're desperately trying to enjoy your meal in peace, but Coach insists on striking up a conversation. Bold. Hi, my beloved student. <laughs> hey there, bud. What you drinking? <laughs> the, the you. What? Milk? That's it. That's hardly a drink at all. Everybody knows the drink is the backbone of uh, balanced lunch. Uh, what would we be without backbones? I don't know. My doctor yells at me whenever I try to find out. But enough about me. Let's get you juiced. You can have a sports sauce or muscle juice. Which will it be? He's kind of turning into Fat Albert a little bit. <laughs> don't worry, kids. Bold. I love, I love juice. I think, I think we know what Deke's going to choose. He's bold as hell. Both. Yeah. We I was just saying, wait, what? Yeah, he's gonna, oh, he's gonna do this. Both. Is the difference between Deke and Cooler Deke? In in front of in <laughs> front of the coach at school with my sunglasses on, he's gonna be like, "Yo, have this," and I'm gonna pop out some whiskey and Damn. I'm gonna drink it in front of him. All right, all and right, I'm gonna Deke. just see what right, happens. Here we go. Whiskey, it is. Bold. Get fucked, coach. Mm, I don't ever offer you any whiskey. It's called, I call this fuck juice, coach. Wait, wait, what the <laughs> You're fuck? choosing, so I must offer it to you. Otherwise, why would you have chosen it? That's why, your brain's not good, coach. That's why you're a coach. Oh, well, I guess I've got to go out and buy you a case of whiskey. <laughs> this guy's going down. Coach marches off to illegally purchase a whole bunch of alcohol on your behalf. He's going to jail. Deke is so when all your classmates realize they can get coach to buy them booze just by asking you. Plus four You become fun. the coolest kid in school. You gain plus four fun. Man. Deke is slaying it. Oh, man. He's killing it, all right, poppin' fresh. We got this. <laughs> um, that that guy's dumb though. I'm Coach. I'm going. I'll go here. I'm gonna go sit with your your girl. Yo, can you put a good word? We're all competing for different things. I don't know, know that. You find Vera and Polly at their table, deep in conversation. All right, business idea. People pay a monthly subscription to prevent me from drugging their food. Business idea. People pay me a monthly subscription to put drugs in their food. Just how I mentioned. Business that. idea. Price out the cafeteria's current food supplier by selling plastic food. Business idea, nipples. Just nipples? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 business idea. Use clever marketing and food science to create the perfect new diet craze and sell it for an insane profit. That's actually a really good idea. Better than nipples? Yes, we, we just need to figure out what our new diet product will be. Tapeworms, they're gluten-free, dairy-free, 100% organic. And you can get them for free from sick cows. <laughs> Meth, it's Meth. what's for lunch. It's what's for lunch. Uh, the tapeworms is like smart. 
Yeah, that seems like a brainy idea. The meth is the funny one. What that you, who seems are you? like who a brainy you, idea. Who are you, Poppy Fresh? Mm. Who are you? Who am I? I. What is you? Tapeworms or meth? Which one is it? Who are you? <laughs> 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 you know what? I'm gonna go meth. It's what's for lunch. Woo! Oh, uh, yeah, you know, I was complaining the other day that I made way more meth than I could ever do myself. The profit margin will be incredible. The problem is the name. Meth has a really terrible reputation. You need to rebrand. You mean come up with a new name? Like Skinny Fun Powder or Probably Not Meth? Yes, except not either of those. <sighs> oh, 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 I know. I've got the perfect name. Don't say... Nipples! Yo, people kill, would love kill to me. take nipples kill me. for lunch. Right? But it turns out Nipples is the perfect name for a drug you want to sell to high school students. Polly <laughs> makes a killing and drug dealing turns this out to be a This is why I'm trying experience. to get Polly. Yeah. Weird that she just fell in love with me a little, huh? No, 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 no. For the two of you. No, 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 no. Here we go, Gringy. <sighs> no, no, Do no, I no. go back to these two sad sacks in the corner, or do I try and fuck the werewolf? It's your call. Who's it's the where's the werewolf? Oh, right the there in the middle. werewolf's in the middle. That's Scott. Yeah, that's Scott and Miranda. Mm -hmm. But could a zombie ever be with a werewolf? I mean, that's up to you. <laughs> yeah, that, don't let people tell you what you can and can't get yeah. with. What do you? What does Gringy want? I don't want these two sad boy princes over here in the corner who are like deciding who are going to get married. I'm going for. I'm going to fuck the werewolf. All right. You waltz over to Miranda and Scott's table to find them peering suspiciously into a burger. Secret sauce? Secret sauce? What tread mysteries do you conceal? Whoa, do you think the secret sauce can talk? Oh, cool. Hey, the secret sauce, what are you made out of? No, Scott, my question was a tiger. Awesome, mine was loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's no use. We will never discern the active ingredient of this delicious secret sauce. I like how they're in their summer clothes. That's so cute. Yeah. Unless you have an idea, Grungy? <laughs> Gringy, 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 what's your idea? You're fun. You're fucking fun. So she's a sea monkey princess. Yeah, she's a she's, she's like a, a mermaid. Person. Yeah, a mersin, please. Uh, yeah, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, you're right. right a mersin. The blood of your father's enemies. That's why it's so delicious. Well, you if you want to get with the party guy werewolf. Yeah, you know the answer. Uh, you have to choose. You have to you go, uh, go with Scott. Yeah, I gotta go with Scott. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. Oh, of course. Wow. Secret sauce! Even the clue is in the title! Even she's... But what are the secrets made of? Shh, Miranda. It's a secret. But... Shh. I... Shh. Uh, shh. In an effort to become more mysterious, <laughs> Scott has you rub the secret sauce all over his chest. You're definitely into it. I'm into it a little bit, too. Gringy! places. <laughs> I know that this isn't like a tabletop game, but Deke turns over, and like, you think you can detect a wink behind the sunglasses at you, Gringy. Yeah, but you can't see it, <laughs> but you know it's there. But like, one of his penises- I'm gonna penises, have to have roll for that. One of his penises is like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody chooses something bad. Say your choice out loud, and the rest of the players before clicking. Okay, something bad, paper cut. Salmon and cheddar. <laughs> Star Wars The Last Jedi. <laughs> oh. Uh, stubbing your toe. Okay. Player orders decided based on how much our country needs a minister of blank. <laughs> oh, minister of salmon and cheddar. Yeah, minister of salmon and cheddar. That's, that's it's what a, we need. To be honest, it's what we need. It's an efficient way of knocking out two birds with one stone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're right. <laughs> you know what I'm Double saying? up, cut costs. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one guy, two things. I feel like we definitely need a minister. Of, the way the internet is right now, we need a minister of Last Jedi. <laughs> just to, I believe just to like, I mean, you know, what? Just we, to, we do. You know, we you know what? Just to help parse through everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just somebody mm -hmm. to make sure we're all crossing our T's. <laughs> All right, paper cut or stump Woo! toe. It's really the hardest choice. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's here's the thing. Okay. Paper cuts are no good, but a stub toe is like a day ender. It's like yeah, that's it. Just give up. The worst paper cut you're is right. like you're uh, right. No, you're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, all right. Gringy time. Where are you going? Um. Can I see the thingies? Uh, of course you can. Oh man. Okay. I wanna. What? What? Um, I'm just gonna go outdoors again. All right. You're gonna get all the fun. Yeah. Fuck it. Fun boys. 
That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. Uh, you did a second rave? You spot Juan, the small magical Latino cat who seems a bit sad. He explains uh, to you that he's worried people are so used to calling him Juan, the small la magical Latino cat, that now everyone defines him solely by his size, magical magicality, ethnicity, and species. He's so much more than that. You correct him. You don't see him in such simplistic terms and convenient definitions. It's just that there are around 23 other different Juans in the school, so adding that to his name is quite necessary. You tell him you'll never forget about him and the crazy adventures you both lived together in Monster Prom's prequel, Monster Middle School. Don't <laughs> make promises you can't deliver, Jesse. <laughs> you have a great time remembering those crazy stories. You gain plus two fun. He's the funnest again. He is. <laughs> Why well, everything we do just to mess with David? We didn't say that's what we were going to do. So the, mo mind. the moment that Wait, is, the sounds of Nothing. masculine energy, if it has a sound, uh -oh. fills the air. God, Ooh. come at me, four-legged fuckwads! Yeah, who the fuck is this? Look, bro, just stop hanging with our cousin Scott, and we won't beat you up, okay? It's all cool, dude. No, it's not all cool. I'm going to hang out with that dumb mutt whenever I feel like it. Kind of because I like him, mostly because you can't control me. Scott's a wolf. He belongs with the wolf pack. What do you have that we don't? Muscles? We got those. Sharp teeth? We got those. Big dicks? Bazinga. <laughs> Independent thought, Big maybe? Big Bazinga, dude. <laughs> That's it, Fireboy! We're sending you straight to hell! I mean, fine? Bring it! Uh-oh. Damon's not exactly helpless, but if this if this is four against one, get in there and help a demon out. Uh, oh, rap rap battle. I'm going in rap battle! <laughs> the funnest thing that could possibly happen! That is such a gringy thing. So creative! A rap battle? Oh, shit! Let's go, boys. You pull a mic out of your pocket. Why did you have a mic in your pocket? Don't worry about it and lay down a dope beat. He's always got a mic in his pocket! Your... You got 13 fun. Your face off and then you start letting the sick burns fly. You ain't shit. Just a bunch of mediocre, angry mutts. Take a... This is like you. You do this. Here. You do this, Alex. You ain't shit. Just a bunch of mediocre mangy mutts taking water bong hits and sniffing each other's butts. Oh, you wouldn't know fly if it bit you in the mouth. You could try to ride high, but your plans will go south. You may know sports, but that's about it. When it comes to friendship, you don't know shit. Oh! Oh, oh. damn, son! The wolf pack are sufficiently burned by your sweet rhymes and leave their tails drooping in shame. You gain plus two fun and plus one creativity. Funnest guy in school. All right, Deke. All right, where are we going, Deke? Let's do this dirty. <sighs> the obvious choice would be to spend more time in the bathroom. I don't think so. I'm bold. Uh-huh. And I'm fun. So where are you going? You know what a bold choice is for a person that is seemingly fun? I have no clue. What... The library. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Nobody would see that's Deke some, coming. That's some crazy reasoning. All right. Uh, that day, you spend some time in the library's PC, sending malicious spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money. Bold. Textbook deek. Doesn't seem very, it doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant scam? True. You lose minus 10 karma, which what? isn't a stat in this game, so who cares? And you gain plus oh. two money. <sighs> Great. On your way out, you spot Polly still wearing a lab coat she stole from that human party the other night. She takes it off and throws it at you to get your attention. It's working. Yo, yo, yo! That human party convinced me I want to be a scientist, but not just any kind. A party scientist! What's a party scientist, you ask? Why, just a scientist who's dedicated to discovering the secret of the baddest party. There's a series of extremely scientific experiments aimed to discover what exactly makes a party good. So I can distill whatever it is into a vial and drink it. Or, you know, just have a really dope parties all the time. Whatever, it's cool. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to a bar mitzvah tonight and I need your scientific advice. What can we do to push this party over the edge? Get ready for some bold ideas. The electric slide? Or chemistry? What is the boldest choice? Shit. This is tough. What is the boldest choice? Because... Chemistry is very bold. It's it's in capital letters. Yeah. I don't know if it's bold, but... I don't know. What is, what is the, what what is the get, boldest choice? The problem is, like, the electric slide, but with actual electricity, is like... That's like a bad TV executive's idea of bold. That's not really bold. Is there any more? Let's type throw of science at it. That's bold. Is it bad TV? Hey, you know what? Science got us on the moon. It got us 
at some point and sometime sure. in Mars. Right. This is bold. Is, is there, science. science gave us the Big Mac. We can do it again. Is it there, gave us the Grand Mac. Oh, the shit. The boldest of all fucking... All right, here we go. Chemistry! Who's bold? Oh, than so bad smart. TV executive. <laughs> Deke is so fucking bold. Later that night. Yes, I've done it. I had to tear the heart out of an atomic bomb, but I've done it. I, I say the element part parterium, the life of the party. Now to slip distillation into the bar mitzvah's water supply. The effects are instantaneous. All around you boys are becoming men, and men are becoming party animals. And not just all around the bar mitzvah, all around the city. The bar mitzvah's water supply was also the city's water supply. That's a... Your party so hard you cause serious damage to the local infrastructure. Mayor Grim Reaper declares the next Mayor day National Reaper. Hangover Day. That's how goddamn bold I am. Wow, what just happened? Oh wait, I remember. Science! Chemical warfare has never been so fun. You gain plus Killing one, it. two fun, and Killing plus it. one smart. Still the funnest one in school. Yeah, great. he's doing great. Deke. Okay. All right, where are we going? Holy cannoli. All right, send me to class. All right. That day, you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, <laughs> after the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. You gain plus two smarts. Ooh, so smart. You're making your daily protection payment to Vera when suddenly... <laughs> oh, oh, no. Jesus. I forgot the voice I did for him, but... He's like, everyone, stop what you're doing. Look at my magic... Majest my majestic visage. My magic Vis visage. <laughs> Jesus. The interdimensional prince, muscling out of my territory, are you? Not at all, my darling Vipress. I am here strictly in a business capacity. Plain your Business, strengths. you say? I'm all ears, except for my snakes, which are all tongues and teeth. It's simple economics, my love. You're an aspiring crime kingspin. I'm a prince. I propose a merger. A merger of our resources, our minds, our bodies, and our spirits. Not bad. Interesting. Oh no, Vera's getting out her calculator. If she decides this merger is financially viable, good luck asking her to prom. But how will you undermine Vera's confidence in the prince's financial status? Oh god. They saw his <laughs> fish. Uh... Still has money with your high oh. trading algorithm, Carl. Uh, oh man, these are both great. I. Mm. What? But who is Cooler Deke? Yeah, who is Cooler, the Cooler Deke, Deke? Has a, has his own one of many. I high feel like Gurney and Deke algorithm. know who they are. Does Poppin' Fresh and Cooler Deke know who they are yet? Poppin' Fresh is finding her way. She's young, and I'm stealing all that money. She's also made up of different parts of people. It's tough. Yeah. I'm all gonna, right, see all the money? Yeah, Carl time? This is smart. This is smart. It's smart and good. Boom. Before we drop the contract, I hope you won't mind providing a full accounting of your assets. Of course not, my dear. As you can see from the spreadsheet, my entire kingdom is... owned by someone named Carl? Let me see that. You idiot. Carl isn't a person. It's a computer algorithm. Probably stands for something like... computerized autonomous robotic light bulb. Nope, doesn't stand for anything. It's just Carl. <laughs> you gain plus two boldness and plus one smarts. Oh, no. <sighs> All right, my choice is let's go. Your choice is clear. I'm going to the bathrooms. <laughs> I is. enjoy what I left for you. That day you visit the bathrooms and take a number two. Ooh. Don't worry, there will be an illustration of that specific. There won't be an illustration of that specific moment. Thing is, you make one of the boldest decisions in your life. You don't put paper on the toilet seat before using it. It's mm. not my butt. It's someone else's butt. Yeah. Look at you, you crazy bastard. You gain plus two boldness and plus one staphylococcus with a slight chance of plus one STD. <laughs> Later, you see Liam scrolling through his phone, looking like the embodiment of ennui. It really, every time I play this, it keeps pushing me towards Liam. It really does. Every time. Yep. Hey. Is it who I'm destined to be with? <laughs> Poppin' Fresh, what are you doing? Stalking classmates for romantic purposes and offering rather absurd advice? Magnificent. I could use some rather absurd advice. What the shit is he wearing? I was exchanging- summer outfit. He looks great. So I was exchanging messages with a weird koala on this dating site, and all was going well for a time. But I've grown tired of our exchanges. He's a bit clingy, and being clingy is my seventh biggest turn off. Right between sarcasm and literacy and actually being a pickle and not a person. <laughs> <laughs> the postmodern protocol dictates for me to ghost him and never talk to him again, but that's horrible, and I would never do that to someone. You see, I'm Liam. Handsomely mysterious, yet a true gentleman. But neither do I want the emotional turmoil of telling him how I really feel and having an actual conversation about it. What an ordeal. 
So I've settled on just sending him a bunch of emojis and then never texting him again. Now, that should do it, right? The thing is, how can I convey this complex array of sentiments through the friendly language of emojis? This is your time to shine. Show Liam you excel at complex sentiments so he might someday feel like sharing them with you. She's <laughs> on school bus shooting star trumpet and crocodile. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Or this one. Little vampire growing disinterested in overly attached wear crawler emoji. Ooh, that's bold. That's bold. <sighs> yeah, all right. So oh, what the? So what? smart. Oh, that one is clearly the best option. How didn't I think of it? Which version should I choose? Little vampire growing disinterested in overattached wear koala? Or little vampire with a silly hat growing disinterested in overattached wear koala? Even werkawala? he knows it's a dumb hat. It's a good hat! Maybe the silly hat is not suited for the situation. <laughs> Let's go with the classic. Okay! Just sent it. He texted me back. Let's see. Oh, the wear koala being understanding of the little vampire's feelings and respecting them even if a bit hurt emoji. I'm replying back with the formally grateful and ready to move on poop emoji. <laughs> Look at this! He just texted me the emoji that's waving his hand like he's saying bye with an expression that says he's going to break our bonds but without being resentful about it. <laughs> Perfect! We solved this as a team! Cheers to us! And cheers to the creative people that have turned every complex feeling and scenario into a friendly and colorful emoji. You gain plus two charm and plus one creativity. Great! Great! Damn! Yeah. Definitely Killed handled. It. Killed it. The problem is, I want I want anyone but Liam. Every time I play, I get Something Liam. Something happened to Deke. Oh no. Oh, oh no, Deke. Deke. That weekend, you go to you go party hard with Polly, Vera, Damian. I'm not even Liam. invited to the party. Cool Deke, sixty nine, and Gurley. <laughs> I really couldn't. Pop and Fresh is the only uncool. Pop and Fresh are just gone to class every single day <laughs> and see where that led. Perfect attendance. You have a great time in the very popular nightclub, Apollo, thus named because despite being the hottest club on weekends, it's an actual temple to the god Apollo on weekdays. But no good party ends at when the nightclub closes, so at 6am you decide to just hang out in a nearby park, what drinking and chatting. Me? What a rad night, huh? You betcha. Vera and I had some great laughs doing some good old anal bleaching. <sighs> Love her. <sighs> what? It's a game we have. You know those douchebags that steal your drink when you leave it unattended for two seconds? Hmm, uh, sure. We drink half our glasses and then pour bleach in them. If people are cool, then the club staff just takes them and throws them in the trash after a while. But if someone wants to play smart, then we fucking bleach those assholes. Dust and I'll bleaching. Metal! Remind me never to get on your bad side, you two. Anyway, what should we do now? No any cool after parties? I think that douchebag mummy said something about an after party at some nearby catacombs. Uh, but remember, he got bleached. Right. Then I got nothing. But this can't end without a lucky situation that forces one of our friends to make a hard choice that leads to an absurd outcome. No sooner had Liam finished his thought than a cloud of mystical green smoke appears from nowhere and a groovy bearded guy emerges from it. Alex? Hey, kids. My name's Joe the Laser. And I'm like... <laughs> A laser wizard, and today I have a quest. The quest of teaching you how to properly dance to a hit song. Here we go. So, do you remember the classic early 2000s staple party rock I do. anthem I do. by LMFAO? I do. I do remember that. Yes. Today I'm going to teach you how to laser shuffle to it. One of you, come demonstrate the shuffle with me. Hard pass. I'm more of a voguing girl myself. Now, I have no problem dancing with strangers, but magic powers in parks. Also, shuffling is kind of my thing. Damien plays the song on his phone while Polly does some dope-ass shuffling, and the wizard <laughs> sinks an arrangement of lasers with her so crazy that pigeons start falling out of nearby trees. Jesus. Just, wow. <laughs> well, indeed, my fellow young strangers. And so my quest is to pass this knowledge on to you. But who could take on such an important burden? Unfortunately, at that moment, you were swelling, smelling your own armpit, and your hand was raised, so now everyone is watching you. Fortunately, you're pretty decent at shuffling, but whose laser magic will best complement your dance? Oh. Ooh! Which one? Which one has the power? Oh, shit. Right. <laughs> or Gurngi? Her laser magic skills are so strong that she got banned from the local laser tag place. You're pretty sure you heard Gurngi got laser hair removal last week, so he must have some laser... No. Listen. Bold. 
You got kicked out of a laser tag place for being so friggin' good at it? That was me. All right. That's bold as hell, Does Cooler Deke. Deke. It's time that Deke and Cooler Deke. We gotta team 69. up. 69. We're. This is like. <laughs> this is like if like. This is trunks and alternate reality trunks, trunks would have fused. Yeah. Wonder Deke All powers right, activate. Here we go. Let's do give it. The, give me the bump. Oh, it's gonna do yeah, the yeah. fusion. Oh, fusion. Ha. Deke. Yeah, Deke. There we go. They've done it. They actually. Yeah, did. we actually it did. happened. So now the two of you start this very weird and specific laser-based party ritual. It involves pointing fingers. Your shuffling kicks ass. And Cooler Deke 69's magic is just no! too strong. It's so strong that this event won't be included in the Japanese version of the game to avoid giving kids seizures. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is otherworldly. You know what? I agree. One fucking hundred percent. What a what a masterful and splendid display of laser magic. You are the chosen one, says Joe the laser. I have to reveal something to you. I was a wizard in disguise this whole time. I was secretly <laughs> testing you to what find out if you were pure test? of heart and strong of laser. You literally just told us you were a wizard. <laughs> Whatever, I am super drunk, but the important thing is you passed my test. Then what's our prize? Is it seven dolphins? A car? A car made of seven dolphins? I want to make love to her on top of a car made of seven <laughs> dolphins. <laughs> the wizard ignores Polly, puts his hands over you and Cooler Deke's 69 shoulders and whispers, The prize is earning the respect of your friends, and now that I've found the chosen ones, my time in this world can come to an end. He winks at you and then slowly and emotionally evaporates. Damn, the vapor is infused with the strong smell of cheap rum. Did he just die? We'll always remember Joe the Laser. Let's pay our respects by shuffling. You burst into more awesome shuffling and laser magic. A cheap rum-scented breeze makes you look at the sky, and there you see a cloud shaped like his face, winking at you. Creepy. Still, you and Cooler Deke 69 gain plus two fun and plus one creativity. Oh, thanks man. to Joe what the Laser. The oh, man. <laughs> I'm also, never going to forget you, Joe the Laser. I, I like how Polly's midriff is see-through. Cho choose an animal. Chose an animal. Uh, a manticore. That's a, a oh real fake one. Uh, it just says animal. I'm going platypus. I'm going sturgeon. I'm gonna I'm gonna say a moray eel. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Player orders decided based on how likely it would be for the selected animal to take over man uh, humankind. Sturgeon. Shh. Listen. Um, very well, unlikely. A manticore is like the strongest. Yeah, manticore, you manticore is the strongest one. Platypus. I immediately went. Well, Cat they are venomous. Caviar is expensive. <laughs> Commodity. No, but that's them. If the caviar, sturgeon if, run, you know, the caviar business. The farmers no. hold. No, that's the not happening. Rains. Listen. No, that's not happening. Communism. No, chaos reigns. <laughs> you tried. You tried to talk yourself into it. Manticore. Is it like most likely to least likely? Yes. Yeah. Then most I think likely. Manticore, Manticore wins. Manticore wins. Okay. Uh, you chose. What did you pick again? Platypus. What? I pick? think a moray eel is like a pretty. Those things are pretty intelligent. But they're stuck like, in the like, water. Uh, not Platypus according can to do anything. not according to plant. They climb over rocks to get to crabs. Yeah, but that's like the furthest they can go. Sturgeons You're a platypus. You can't do shit. Plat you're like platypi. First off, can do everything. That's so true. you're a platypus. They can, do, they can swim. They platypus have venom. Can do anything. Yeah, sturgeon, they have venom. Sturgeon can come out on the mud a little. Okay, as long as we agree that sturgeon is last. <laughs> yeah, I'll all right, you have that's second. Fine. All right, that's third. fine. Morio's we can all agree. <laughs> the truth. We can all agree. Uh, there's no that. way Sturgeon's not getting last year. <laughs> Get a little vodka. Let's do this. All right. We're two. Okay. God, I need to get that blood for the blood ritual. It's true, but you have no money. I have no money, so I gotta go to the library. The library? Yeah. That day, you spend some time on the library's PCs, managing your start kicker. Yo, money. You, dece you deceive a lot of people with a sensationalist video and impossible promises. Nice. You gain plus 100,000 money, but almost everything goes to cover costs and you keep only two money. You spot Vera at the computer next to you, deep in contemplation. You offer her a penny for your thoughts. My thoughts are worth significantly more than a penny, but I'll invoice you later. I'm trying to launch a new legitimate business venture. I'm, I'm sorry, I mean scam. <laughs> but I'm not sure how best to recruit customers. I'm sorry, I meant to say gullible suckers. I've got no trouble finding victims in real life. My Snakes use their tongues to smell weakness, but snakes can't use their tongues on the internet. I know, I was surprised by that as well. So, any ideas? <laughs> oh, Flash and Banner Evans says you will literally die if you don't click this ad right now. That's bold. Uh, post. post on Reddit asking for suckers to join your new scam. If they really are suckers, they'll join anyway. 
I don't like the second one. Doesn't seem right. No. It's your call. First I'm one going with the first one. A marvelous so idea. Right. I can run it on medical websites. I can really sell the lie by having anyone who doesn't click the ad killed. <laughs> Soon everyone will be clicking it. A whole world full of suckers. You know, they say a sucker is born every minute, but we all know that it's hardly enough suckers. Suckers must be made, like Frankenstein's monster, but far more lucrative. Vera commissions you to produce a banner ad, which takes you like four minutes in MS Paint. You gain plus two money and plus one creativity. Oh, Damn. All right, popping fresh. Did Please. you know you get money there? Yes. Yeah, the library is where you get money all the time. Library is always money. Oh! Yeah, this never changes, This the information here. Interesting. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to class. I got. An, I. I don't know. I don't know where to take poor pop and fresh. I have no. What are you trying to be? Tell us. Who are you? You know what? Good, I don't know. She's trying to find herself. Who? She's just trying you? to find herself. That day you're the first one in class. You sometimes come early because you enjoy talking to the teachers. Here's a. He's a bit better. A bit bitter, but in a cool way. He treats you like an adult, and the two of you discuss life and stuff in a very snarky way. Look at you, excelling in cliched movie tropes. You gain plus two spots and plus one valuable life insight. That will help you face the difficulties of being young. See, that's what I'm after. Insight. Valuable insight. In our class, you're having a hard time looking at the unspeakable eldritch relic you're supposed to be painting. <laughs> when Liam and Miranda thankfully provide you with a distraction. What are you talking about, Miranda? That relic clearly represents the futility of a man's quest for meaning in the world of consumer goods. But how do you know that, Liam? To me, it just looks like a gruesome and horrific offering to a pitiless god, like Uncle Anathema used to make. Why, it's easy, Miranda. When I want to discern the true meaning of a piece of art, I simply... I simply... Uh... Make it up. Look at the bottom and read a clearly printed label that explains the true meaning of art. Um... I feel like... <sighs> are you a roaster, or are you like... A, are you like honest and real? Well, here's the thing. I don't know who I am. I don't know who I am. But what People I play do many know, roles in life. It's impossible. To yeah, but what all. I do know is that the second one speaks to me on like a personal level, on a snarky personal level. Making it up implies that they're creative. I don't believe that. How many times have you bought like a snarky mug? All the time. Yeah. Those are the only <laughs> mugs I buy. Yeah. yeah. The snarkiest mugs. Yeah. If I dropped my mug in slow motion and it broke. On the bottom would still be more snarky stuff about it would the say, month. say, clearly you've mistaken me for someone who gives a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. Ridiculous. There's nothing written on the bottom of... There's something written on the bottom of the statue. It says... This statue clearly represents the futility of man's quest for meaning within capitalism. Oh, dear, Liam. It looks as if you were wrong. You said in a world of consumer goods. That, that, that is merely my superior vocabulary at work, Miranda. The, the art was an eldritch sculptor after all, not an art critic. Wow, Liam, you're so smart and so humble. Liam calmly accepts Miranda's sincere compliment, but when he thinks you're not looking, he runs around at the bottoms, looking at the bottoms <laughs> and backs of every other piece of art in the room. You've clearly changed his life, probably for the better. You gain plus two charm and plus one smart. Sure, all right. Take it. All right. Yeah. Here comes Deke. All right. I guess, I guess I'm the fun guy now. Um, <laughs> you wanted to be bold, but now you're just fun. Sometimes being fun is bold. Yeah, Here's works. one place you're never going to fucking find Deke. That's the classroom. You can't go to class. Good. Because I don't want to go there. Yeah, you wouldn't have <laughs> okay. there. You're, you're right. You were right. I'm just saying right now, he never goes to class. So never. We have an auditorium. Mm -hmm. We have a... What's the tree? What's the... That's the outside outdoors. Trevenant. Yeah. Uh, what's the boldest place to go? You know what? No one expects to see Deke on the, on the football field. Can we go there? You can go to the gym. That's the gym. I can't go to the football thing? It's, the no. same, it's one location. That's pretty bold for him. Let's go there. That's a bold choice. That day, Look at that ball ass! Oh, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Amidst the battle, you spot a fellow player that seems utterly discouraged. She thinks she's not worth anything at dodgeball, and she... Attempts to throw the ball at herself. Oh my god. You explain to her the many ways she thinks she you think she's unique and wonderful while also defending the many pleasures in life. With your help, she's capable of finding reasons to keep playing and gains a sense of self-worth. You gain plus one BFF. Sadly, she's not part of this game, so that beautiful friendship will take place off-screen. <laughs> and plus two charm. Alright. You're getting ready for another round of You Guessed It Dodgeball when Polly flags you down. 
Hey, you know what I realized? That gym is the one time you're actually encouraged to judge the way students handle each other's balls. I, I want to I want to marry her, and then divorce her and marry her again the same day. That's how bold Deke is. <laughs> so bold, Deke. Well, before you can even begin to think of a response, a giant interdimensional rift opens in hey! the gymnasium, and out pops the ever persistent <laughs> interdimensional I prince. Myself, my love. My dearest Lady Paulina, worry not, my love. I am here to. Is this, is this fucking guy gonna go everywhere? I am here to whisk you away to the safety of my dimension. Safety? From what? From what? Why this unceasing war you seem always to be caught in the middle of? Danger abounds all around you. Look at these uniformed soldiers. Look at the projectiles hurtling through the air, often towards your gorgeous visage. Uh, come, let me steal you away. If you're using the word steal, it's a good sign. This is not going in a great direction. But the interdimensional prince is too focused on saving Polly from the horrors of war to listen to reason. He grabs her by the arm and is about to pull her through the interdimensional rift when you call out to him. If you're <laughs> taking her, you must follow the rules of engagement and first speak to our highest ranking officer coach. That guy's a fucking idiot. He went and bought me whiskey. Uh, a true hero wouldn't flee to safety. He would stay and fight this war for his love's oh. honor. That's bold. Oh. That's bold. All right. That's bold. Oh, oh so, so bold. bold. Uh, you make a very excellent point, my friend. Fear not, Paulina. I will fight for your honor, defeat your enemies, and then abduct you back to my dimension. Uh, perfect. Sounds great. All right, Paulina's army. It's time to defeat her attackers. For Paulina! The prince rushes the opposing team with gusto, ready to destroy the dastardly beings determined to hurt his uninterested bride. Unfortunately for him, Polly used her psychic powers, what, you didn't know ghosts have psychic powers? And gave her team new instructions. Or, wait, she just texted them. Wait, do... Do I like her because I like her, or does she psychically make me... Like <laughs> oh, oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, Deke! That's oh. the question. Now Deke needs to find out who he is. Oh, you were damn. so busy trying to get with her, you didn't- I'm so busy wearing sunglasses inside, I didn't even bother- You didn't stop to, to think! To, to think look. about just turning out the lights. To take them yeah, off and look. That's true. Yeah. Now both, both dodgeball teams immediately pelt him with all the balls they have, which is a lot of balls, <laughs> and the interdimensional prince is accosted from every angle. No, Paulina, why? The betrayal, it hurts! And so do these balls! <laughs> <laughs> With a final ball to the head, ironically thrown by his beloved Polly herself, the interdimensional prince is knocked unconscious. A rift in space-time opens up and a pair of concerned-looking servants carry the prince back through the rift, and which then closes behind them. Sweet! This is the most fun I've ever had playing dodgeball. We should knock people unconscious in PE every day, Deke. Man, if that doesn't sound romantic, what does? You gain plus two fun, plus one charm, and minus one interdimensional prince. It Yay. does sound fun and romantic, but do I really think it sounds romantic? Or are you planning in my head that it sounds romantic? Oh, this is God. why Deke is so fucked Pop and right Fresh now. is trying to find herself because everyone controlling everyone at this school. I gotta go to I gotta go to class. You really do. I gotta like. Pfft. Where are we going? Um, do you want to dance again? I want. <laughs> I want to go outside again. But the the cat lady's there, so it's a oh, shop. So you it's have a to shop. go to the store. No, you can buy things from her, and they're really good for you. Yeah, five money. Fuck it, let's go. Give me your money. Aw, oh, you miss me and my shit, huh? <laughs> Worry no more. All this shit can be yours if you have the money. Not me though. Meow. I'll buy your <laughs> fucking <laughs> shit. Yeah, you know, like yeah. <laughs> All right, what do we got? We got a bloody tampon. We have. Which does that cost? Cost one dollar. Uh, oh my god, it's the blood of the former prom queen. Oh! That's super useful. That's a bit graphic. Uh, if you leave it there, will it be available next time? Stun of shades? Penguin or mask. Let me see the stun of shades. Ooh. I want them. Alright. You look good in those. Yeah, locking them down. So fun. Gangy. <laughs> uh, choose a choose brand. A brand. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups! Wow, that's a good brand. That is a very strong brand. Oh, if we're gonna stick with candy? We all have to stick with candy then. Okay, I, we're all I choose... Um, then you all lost, because Reese's are the best. No, no, no. I choose... Peanut Butter and Chocolate. <laughs> God, I, oh, I can't remember the Butter name Butterfinger. Not but oh man! I'm going Baby Ruth. Fuck oh, it. man! You better get in this before it's Baby too Ruth. Late. 
Abba, 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 Zabba, Zabba, Abba, Zabba. Abba that was your Zabba. choice. You didn't go with Charleston Chew. What's wrong with you? Abba, Zabba. Dude, he, he panicked. Baby poop inside an airhead. That's what you picked. <laughs> oh, well, That's okay. Let's be honest here. Butterfinger already produced a TV spot, and it was starring Bart Simpson, so I automatically. Wait, won. Baby Ruth, right? It's old. It's from the 30s. Yo, 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 yo. There's it's no like, wrong way to eat a Reese's. Imagine that as a full show. I would rather All the wack, you... ridiculous ways you could eat a Reese's peanut butter cup. That's the best but option. Think about Deep that number Abba one. Zabba. To be fair, I push the middle out and then eat the, the outside. <laughs> That's think great. Think about Abba yeah. Zabba, though. Take five minutes to just think about Abba Zabba. Okay. It looks like... I don't think I've thought about Abba egg, Zabba in 15 years. If an egg, <laughs> if an egg took a shit, that would be an Abba Zabba. <laughs> Abba Zabba, <laughs> producing, brought to you by Abba Zabba. It sounds great. It's if Willy Wonka made a tamale. It's a yeah. fucked up candy. You know what? That's why it's the best. Uh, Abba Zabba. Baby Ruth, it could be like Boardwalk Empire. No, Baby Ruth is, is shit in a pool, is what that is. That's hilarious. That's not. It's That's not a candid no, camera right no. there. Boardwalk Empire, Abba Zabba. I'm talking twitch.tv slash baby Ruth. We're just Twitch. going. Twitch.tv slash Abba Zabba. We're just, we're just GoPro-ing, throwing Listen, baby Ruths in pools and watching what happens. I, I got it for you. Nobody better lay a finger on my Butterfinger, the TV show, where it's like red light, green light. But if you if you have to lay a finger on the Butterfinger and if they turn around and they see you doing it, your finger gets cut off. All right. Oh, shit. Yeah. Dude, so, there's no way you is, is like a legit, you can make a show out of that. That's the best one. All right. So I'm going to get first. Okay. Oh, and Jesus. Alex, Abba Zabba? Alex, Alex, I like, I like poop. And cooler Deke is cooler than Deke, so Deke is cooler. <laughs> this is absolutely rigged. This is bullshit. There's no more way to I win. You can, you can eat a Reese's in fourth place, too. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots. We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Out of that time of video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Oh, thank God. I don't need pants now. Hey, JC. What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a professional broadcast. Yeah, now sing music. It's a professional broadcast. Bring the strippers and boats. It's a professional broadcast. Now here's to ask and answer one simple question. It's a professional broadcast. You 